In the morning when I rise In the morning when I rise In the morning when I rise Give me Jesus Give me Jesus Give me Jesus, you can have all this world. Give me Jesus. When I am alone, oh, when I am alone. Give me Jesus, you can't have all this world. Give me Jesus. When I come to die, oh, when I come to die, Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You can have all this world. Just give me Jesus. Morning and welcome to this edition of Lunch from the Coal Bucket. Uh, this morning I just want to chat with you just a moment about Christ being the best way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. You know, many people are following the way that Satan puts before them. They follow their friends, they follow their own plans, and as a result, they end up with great disappointment. They end up with great frustration. But ladies and gentlemen, following Jesus is the very best way because he is the way. Now, I'll just use a little acrostic here this morning and I'll say number one, Jesus is the best way believing that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You see, believing, ladies and gentlemen, leads to salvation. The very first thing any person needs to do is to believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ. A lot of people today are crying out to God, but they don't know him personally. They're wondering why they have, do have no comfort, they have no encouragement, it's because they do not know the Lord. You must come to him by faith believing as believers in believing in jesus we are to totally surrender our lives to him and when we totally surrender our lives to him it helps to purge out the hatred and the strife and the resentment by believing on him the best way enduring for consider him that endured such contradictions of sinners against himself. You see, ladies and gentlemen, Christ endured ridicule, rejection, persecution, death. 
And he overcame all of these obstacles by perseverance and faith. You and I face troubles. You and I have trouble. Our whole country is troubled today. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? We have to endure those troubles. You see, the, the sun doesn't always shine. The nighttime comes. The storms comes. It's part of nature. And it's part of our human life. As we go through these difficulties and we trust the Lord, then it gives us strength. It helps us to increase our love for Christ, our effectiveness for Christ. It helps us to love each other better. And so we need to endure. The one thing about what is facing our country today, ladies and gentlemen, is not going to go away tomorrow. It's going to be here for several more months. And we just need to learn that we have to endure some things. And then I would say, not only uh, believing and enduring, but serving. He took upon himself the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men, the scripture says. You see, the Lord Jesus used his time wisely. The scripture says he went about doing good. He was constantly involved in doing something for the Heavenly Father. He said, I came to serve. And he spent his life being a servant to others. You see, when we do good deeds for other people, we are glorifying Christ. When we give assistance, when we give encouragement, when we give help, the scripture says that we are to abound in every good work. And so the best way, serve him. And then best, believing, enduring, serving, and then triumphant. The Lord Jesus said, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. You know, Christ was victorious throughout his life. But the scripture says he was tested in all points like you and I are, and yet he endured it without sin. And through his death and his resurrection and the indwelling power of the Holy Spirit, ladies and gentlemen, you and I can have a victorious life. The best way we believe, we endure, we serve, and we triumph. Thank you for listening in today. God bless you. And please remember, be good to everybody because everybody's having a tough time.